Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello, my name's Chris. I'm so pleased you could stop by. I'd love it if you would subscribe before you leave. Today, looking at my makeup can only mean one thing. It's new release palette from High Art Revolution. It's the Watermelon Palette. If you'd like to know where I got the look, please continue to watch. Waiting by the window all morning and I've just had my Revolution order come and this come out yesterday. So we've got to use it, haven't we? It's the new watermelon palette from the Tasty range. This is the colours you're pretty much seeing at the same time as I am. Right, these are the colours. They're really fun. So we've got, I want to do, literally, I want to try and just do a, a watermelon on my eyes. This is going to be a disaster, but I'm going to try it. Um, I could have done with a, a bit of a deeper green, but we'll go with what we've got. The only trouble is it's um, the green is a shimmer, but I'm sure I've got another green somewhere I can actually add to it as long as I use them. Um, so I'm going to go for red, white, green and a little bit of black. So I will have to add a few little bits. Go off camera, I'm going to, I've literally just run upstairs, took a photo for Insta and sat down so I haven't done my eyebrows, my base or well I haven't done my eyebrows, I haven't primed my eyes or anything, we're just going to go straight on and do it so give me two seconds and I will be back with you, my hair looks like I've been dragged through a hedge backwards, no change there, right see you in two secs guys. I've put some primer on I've sort of done my eyebrows, they're probably not in the slightest bit even. Sisters or twins, I don't even think these are related. <laughs> Never mind. I'm going to set the base first with Cube, which is a very, very light lime greeny type of um, colour, just so I've got that nice base to go onto. It is only the slightest of hint of green there. So how is everybody? I hope you're doing really well. I didn't plan on doing this today at all. I've already got one for you today. But I've um, skipped forward to do this because it's brand new. I'm going to have to go in with this green now. It's not the green I want and I'm hoping that as I blend it I'm going to be able to get the shimmer out of it or if not I'm screwed. I'm going to need to use a different palette else. So I'm going to go in with the colour called Stripes. Just wish me luck because obviously it is a shimmer. But I'm hoping as I blend it all that shimmer will disappear I don't think it's going to I'll have a little look no revolution you're too good with your shimmers you don't just spray a bit of Glitter on the top. I shimmer right the way through. See how shimmery it is. I can't use that. I've put it down as the as the sort of line anyway. So I'm going to have to do the, the other side anyway. But I'm going to have to take another another green. Okay. I'm going to use the mini avocado palette, and I'm going to use this one here. It hasn't got a name, it's just number two, but that is the green I want. So I'm just stamping that on. You see how much much more green it is? That's the green I need. I'm just taking that down to where I can feel my eyeball basically. 
right in the crease. I did say I was going to do a green look um, to Teresa. She, obviously she's an emerald goddess. But um, I wasn't actually intended on doing this. But all this past darling. I hope it will. This is just out of my comfort zone. Totally. I'm going back to the palette. And that um, cube what I used on the base. I'm going to use that to start to blend this out. I've got the white halo cut crease canvas. You probably can't see the writing there because I've had it that long all the um, the writing's come off. I've took all of the cut crease canvas off as much as I'm going to. I'm going to have to do a, a really bright white line anyway because it's uh, it's not going to how I normally do things. But in fairness, I don't usually do anything like this. So I'm, I am out of my depth today. But I'm going to keep on, you know, without quit. just want to put a little bit more eyeshadow primer on because because I'm using red it may stain right, so I'm going to take the color splash which is the red I'm going right up to that edge of the cut crease. It's actually really discoloured. As I said, I'm going to go over it with a white liner. So I'm just going to build this up now. This could go all wrong right now. I've actually had to use my cut crease canvas because my liner I've threw away. So that's the next on the list. 
I know it looks strange, it's not my type of thing, but we've got to do something different, haven't we? I've just seen something I've not done. I'm going to take a little bit of eyelash glue, just some cheap one that comes in the actual boxes. I'm going to add a little bit to my hand and then I've got some black gems here and I'm just going to put the black gems on my lid to sort of emulate the seeds of the watermelon. I know this isn't very me but I'm just doing it for something different to do. Right, I've probably made a right mess of this, but I don't care. We're not being really fun, ain't we? Um, lashes, I will go with my usual way of a put it. It is. It's the chocolate dipped from High Art Revolution. Right, give me two minutes guys and I'll be back with you. I have to use something. I'm going to use this, this green here. It's called Stripes. It's the one I tried to use to start with. I need to use something from the palette at least because it's hard, hardly in it using the palette at all. I've only used a couple of shades. So I'm going to just... this. Wow, that's beautiful. I'm just sort of stamping this on more so than blending it in. Just take a little bit of this red and just put it right here. I haven't finished yet I'm going to use this melon it's like a very very lime green um, shimmer I'm going to use that in the inner corner and I'm going to just put add a little bit on my brow bone too and I do try and use as many colors as you know and I feel that we haven't used that many today Ice cream man's here again, guys. Every time. Right, okay. I've got this classic red from the Renaissance collection from Revolution. I'm going to use a little bit of that, I think. Yeah, 
guys that's the end of my video today i know it was something really really strange and out of my comfort zone but i just thought i'd have a go whether i've succeeded or not is a different matter but if you have liked it don't forget to leave us a thumbs up that would be amazing and if you haven't already and you do like my channel i know it's a bit odd please consider subscribing i will see you guys in the week please please take care of yourselves and stay safe until the next time Love you loads. Bye-bye.